The United Nations has documented increasing incidents of rape in Haiti and stepped with the spread of gangs and lawlessness in the Caribbean nation. Wounded as a weapon of terror, researchers say gangs are resorting to sexual assaults and collective rapes to subjugate the population, instill fear, and assert dominance. This young Haitian woman, whom we will call Rose for her protection, is today safe in Miami. She survived unspeakable horrors at the hands of gang members more than three years ago, and her trauma remains apparent. When they took me, they put me in captivity inside. Many of them passed me on. They laid me down and gang raped me, beat me, because they demanded a ransom. My parents could not come up with the sum of money they requested for me, as my mother lives in a province and did not have the means to disperse any amount for me. I spent many days, many days they kept me without food. I wasn't eating and I felt that I was losing it, constantly being raped by many. I was even bleeding. It was a hemorrhage as I lost so much blood. Doctors Without Borders estimates that its staff treated 3,700 victims of sexual violence in 2023, a 42% increase over the year before. Gangs wreak havoc with impunity in Haiti. The UN says close to 5,000 people were killed in gang wars last year. More than 200,000 people have fled their homes. The power vacuum left in the wake of the 2021 assassination of the nation's president has only emboldened these criminal factions, who largely control the nation's capital. It's because they've taken advantage of the, uh, what's happening there with the government, what, what's happening or not doing anything for the country, and they've taken advantage of that to not only kill the people, but steal the money, steal the stuff that they have, and even go as far as uh, raping them. So they figured for you to take them very seriously, they have to go to the whole nine yard, you know, without anything left over. Rose's torment lasted three weeks. Then she says her abusers discarded her like trash, dumping her on a heap of actual garbage. Imagine that I was in nursing school, studying to become a nurse, and for all those men to gang rape me like that, I have become worthless in society. At some point, I even thought of committing suicide. Her neighbors helped her escape the country. Her journey took her from Haiti to Chile, and eventually across the U.S. border with Mexico. In Miami, home to the largest Haitian diaspora community in the U.S., the Let's Community Center extended a lifeline to Rose and other survivors of sexual assault. I am starting to find support. They're helping me to look for work and to schedule appointments for interviews. I am looking for a job, but have not found anything yet. While Rose escaped the horrors of armed conflict, systemic abuse, and misogyny, her country women back home still face a threat of gang violence every day. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.